Okay, so this is Elite Alpha 3.2. Um, hopefully going to show you docking and undocking, um, although the space station has a habit of disappearing, and it's quite busy at the moment, so power allocations keep getting dropped. Um, what I'm using is a CH Products uh, hot ass with the fighter stick and the throttle. Um, I've got roll mapped to one axis on the joystick, pitch is mapped to another one. I've got your mapped to uh, buttons, although I can also roll with buttons and change the settings dynamically on the joystick to get your on that axis. Uh, throttle, throttle controls are on the throttle. There's a full range of throttle movement, forward and backwards. Um, can make life fun in the space station because there isn't a detente where uh, zero is, so it's very much for a feel. One of the things that is very, very useful is the fact that I've got lateral controls um, up, down, left and right on a thumbstick. Uh, this becomes very, very useful when actually attempting to dock. Um, so first thing we need to do is approach the space station, get ourselves fairly close to the door, and then we'll put a docking request in. Uh, what I tend to do is just to drop power to the engine so my top speed is a lot less, and it gives me finer throttle control. What I will probably end up actually doing for docking is mapping throttle controls to some buttons. Um, so we need to find the space station on the contact list. There we go. And request docking. Incoming so we've got docking permission. Let's get ourselves aligned with the door. There we go. And we'll head in find landing pad 8. Now, as you'll remember with the old Elite games, the space station is constantly spinning, and we need to match that rate of rotation with our ship. The yaw and lateral controls really come into our own while messing around doing this. So there we go. As we make the transition into the station, the ship will actually start turning at the same rate as the station. There we go. And I no longer have to uh, worry about keeping myself in relation to the space station. If I stop providing inputs, I stay where I am. So, pad 8 is highlighted for me. What I need to do now is approach it. As I get closer, the display will change to the landing display, which shows my position relative to the landing pad. There we go. Landing gear is not deployed. Let's get that out. There we go. Gears down, and I should just be able to drop down. Nice and gently. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. So that's me now docked. I can now enter the hangar. Which is where you start accessing the starport services. So this is where you would uh, buy, sell uh, cargo, update your ship, buy new ships. Uh, one of the things it does allow you to do, which you can't actually do as part of the game while flying around, is have a look at your ship. Um, so this is the first time you actually get to see your ship close up. Because of course all of these while you're flying are from the cockpit. So when we're done, we can then launch. 
Now this can be quite fun with my joysticks, because if I haven't got the throttle in the right place, I end up shooting off forwards or backwards. So, thumbstick just to get myself some height. Dodge him. Now, while I'm exiting the space station, I don't have to worry about rotation of the space station. All I've got to worry about is making sure I fit through the door. As I leave, rotation starts to become an issue. There we go. So now I've got to start rotating my ship in relation to the space station. And we are now out. If I give some power to the engines, get some distance. And there is the space station with a planet behind it. So there you go, docking and undocking with Elite Alpha 3.2. Thank you very much.